Good evening, good evening, boys and girls. It's good to see everybody today. It's a beautiful day here in Kentucky. Sun is shining. The uh, temperature is supposed to get to just about 70 degrees, but it's it's uh, mid-afternoon for us. I don't think it's going to get to 70, but it's close. It's it's more like spring all the time. Grass is getting green. I've been to a big uh, gathering over another part of the state and back and then got a meeting tonight. So I'm just happy to be here for right now. Uh, it's good to see all of you. I do have, uh, <laughs> I've got my friends with me, both of them. <laughs> There's Wayne and Ruby. Glad to have both of you guys with us tonight. And Good evening, so everyone. Gonna, Good evening. These guys are going to keep me, uh, try to keep me straight or lead me astray. One of the two. We don't, we never know. Probably, for probably the latter. Yes. <laughs> it's more, it's more fun that way. So, um, uh, the, the last week, uh, went off and did kind of my own thing and, and did the, uh, off center bowl. Um, you've seen, you saw it done. Uh, I have not gotten the completed pictures up yet. That's my fault. It's been done. Uh, but this week, Kind of an odd shape piece, but you can kind of guess this is going to be hashtag week. Um, got going to have a wide area uh, to do some lacing, maybe even on two sides. Uh, thought about, I'm still thinking about maybe doing it a little off center, so maybe I won't have as much uh, lacing on one side as I have on the other. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pop this in the in the between centers, and uh, Wayne Ruby, one of those guys, is going to read off who all's in the chat. Oh, that'll be, yeah, that'll be me then. That'll be Wayne. <laughs> well, of course, you've got the better accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And the uh, sexier voice. <laughs> she is Ruby. I love She's you. She's buttering us up all the time, isn't she, Wayne? <laughs> right, if, I right did, the... if I didn't like you, I'd tell you. I know. <laughs> uh, so, starting off right at the top, um, we've got a new name. In on Doug's uh, live tonight, that is Rich Bulldog. Everybody, give him a, a huge welcome for popping in. Obviously, Ruby's here. Uh, Deal, Old Man River is here. Uh, Ronald Todd, Malcolm Douglas, Roger Wallum, uh, going down Todd at Glen Cove. Um, did I, see, I did see Malcolm, Mike Evans, Roger Kent. Paul Hoyton. I'm still going down. Barry Chitty. Thomas Kenny. Norman's in. Hi, Norman. And Peter Twisted Trees is in. Good evening, Pete. Hi, Pete. Anthony Green. Did we say good morning, Pete. Uh, Anthony said, good evening all. Hope it's not raining where you are. <laughs> it is, funnily enough. Al's in. Evening, Al. Uh, Vinnie Charlton. Still going down. Oh, Richard said he has been here before. He's the technic... A techno tool employee that pops up. I knew oh, I'd heard you. the name before. You've been on um, Saturday morning cartoons quite a few times, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you showed up here. That's great. Sneaks is yeah. here. Evening, Clive. Hey, Clive. Andrew's in. <laughs> Evening, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Or should we call Clive Carl? <laughs> Uh, we go. Still going down. Still. <laughs> oh, I'm at the bottom. If I have missed anybody, I do apologise. Um, stick a comment in, give me a row, and I'll I'll give you a mention. Very good. Very good. Um, and Rich, Rich, you'll be happy to see that I'm using a Nova 1624 with the electronic speed control added. Been a good tool for me. I've had it a number of years now. Going on 20, I guess. Except I wouldn't call it as a tool. I call it a machine. Well, it's a machine, but it's it's still a tool. Machine is a tool. Hmm. It's a mechanized tool. 
But anyway, and yeah, and Richard, Richard said uh, said to you, Doug. Um, yeah, that's why I noticed your channel saw the lathe and upgrade. Excellent, excellent. Uh, EMGI Woodworks is in. Hey, Leo. And Rich, we happened to check out your channel, and I noticed you're a scuba diver. Just wondering how long you've been doing that for. Being as how I used to uh, do it for a living. All right, down to the point I can get out the big tool. The big tool. <laughs> I was I was wondering why you weren't using that one. Just because we had the two big lumps on there, I just wanted to get them down. Tighten up a little more. Here we go. That's a scary piece of wood to be putting on that way. Well, between no, centers? No, it's not. Not at all. It's not going to stay between centers long, but... That's the best way to put it on, actually. Uh, Rich, is, uh, Rich is answering Todd. He must have asked a question about jaws for the uh, the chuck, and he's saying new four jaws are uh, would work. Four new jaws are expected in June. Oh, that's good news. I was wondering when the release date on those was going to be. And uh, he's given an answer to you, Ruby, about the diving. Yeah, he started in 2007. Uh, let's see. I worked on the TV series, the underwater series, through the 70s, 80s, into the 90s. It was called The Last Frontier. And Jamie's in. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> And he, he said, uh, I've heard this had the modern cartoons win. Not a bad show at all, lol. <laughs> I don't know how you heard about it, Jamie. I thought it was a secret. And Al Dawson has come in. I thought I mentioned Al. Yeah, he did. He did. Good to have you, Al. He's Anyone? asking. Oh, go on, Ruby, you started. <laughs> he, he was asking what you're making. And uh, I was just going to say it's a hashtag um, yeah. project with the one of the stitched up ones. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's see. So Rich has said that they're bringing back the, the direct thread. Um, I think that's the, the Nova Chuck and companion chucks also. Oh, okay. And Mike's in from Dances with Vox. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Yeah, you can see I've got a, a pretty good, we'll have a good void on this side. It'll run almost all the way down. This side will just be a small one, but there is a, a pretty good crack. You can almost see it. It's that light. Yeah, almost. <laughs> well, Pete, Pete says that that's fine. We the hashtag week is make something, break it, and then tie it together again. <laughs> <laughs> And Rob's right. just come in from things for evening, Rob. Hi, Rob. Yeah, I have that light on. I and Haley's just come in as well. Hi, Haley. Haley. Clean up this bottom end, and then we'll put a tenon on it. That parting tool is getting dull, apparently. Oh, Ben's in. What's your box? Hey, you been? Back no. from McDonald's, are you? <laughs> ah, that's much better. Just truing up the bottom end to put a 10 in there? Yes, yes. I'm getting it squared off first, and then we'll stick a tenon on there. And 
then we can flip it around. Getting a lot of people saying hello to Old Man River. For those of you that don't know, his name is Dale. Take my easy wood tool, easy rougher to get my pin started. Did you, by the way, uh, go to the show last weekend, Wayne? No, I didn't. It was a, a bit far to travel and I couldn't really afford the, to stay over, so uh, I had to miss it. No, that's too bad. Yep, one of them things. Now I found, Doug, if I want to make a dovetail with that tool, all I do is cant it a little to the left. Yes, yes, especially if you have the uh, the truly square one. Mine is not. Mine's the... The rounded R2. one? I think it's an R2, which is a... No, it's not. What is that? I should be on here unless I've worn it off, which I have. Anyway, it's the larger, that's the original <laughs> cutter on that, on that square one, but I'm going to change it to an art, to a square, to a dead square. Um, for that very reason, Ruby, um, I can, I can do a square tenon and then I can cant it over just a little bit and put a, 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 a slightly dovetailed one on there real easy. So, all right. That part's done. Can I get? Nope. So. Now, Dale's, Dale's just said that he's uh, put out a new video on his channel this week. All right, Dale. Good. And Paul Cavanaugh has just joined us. Hi, Paul. Hey, Paul. Paul, good to see you. And Al, Al said that uh, he's made one. He put a zipper on it. Um, good. He picked, he picked the spot to cut the vase for the zipper, believe it or not. Yeah. The vase cracked from top to bottom, a quarter of a way from the zipper. Oh no! <laughs> a quarter well, of an inch, a quarter of an inch away from the zipper. Well, what mm. you do is you just sew up that, stitch that area. Hey, Mark, the gentleman woodturner's uh, just come in. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Yeah, he's just he's just back from uh, was the RPT AWG um, oh. yesterday. So he was, he was well, up was in London for Monday. that and then traveled home today. That was a really good presentation that was made at the RPT uh, meeting. Basically, they had a fellow discussing what, uh, what an expert is and how you get to be an expert and all the ramifications of it. Okay. Yeah, I did, I did a lot of work on that one time, and I found out a couple of things. One, an X is a has-been, and a spurt is a drip under pressure. Definitely. I was <laughs> so I was about to say that. You put those two together, and what do you got? <laughs> All right. And uh, Jamie square. said he has got the first ever uh, CI7 standard negative rear cutters in the UK. Very good. CI seven. Wow. Hmm. Very good. Very now good. you're just aligning your tail stock with your head stock, right? Yes, yes. Just yeah. in case I need it again. Um, um I, I've got well, myself kind of tired of having to work with with it being out of alignment. So I started I'm, lining it up better. Lucy's just come in. Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Lucy, super cool. Understand, Andy's got a price to pay for that one. And Mark, the gentleman, would turn and said, "Thanks for the lovely welcome, everyone." Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> I'll not try as hard next week, Mark. <laughs> 
Rob uh, says expert equals people ask you questions and expect a correct answer. The thing is, Ruby, <laughs> it, as you already know, if you ask a wood, if you ask twelve wood turners a question, you're probably going to get twelve different answers, and At probably least. a lot of them will be right. <laughs> you may get more like 13 or 14. Uh, Mark's asking, um, is my clock wrong? No, Mark. Um, the, the, Americans, the American clocks are wrong. They went forward last weekend. Yes, we did. You all did as well, Ruby? Oh, yes, we did. Okay, all right. On sat Saturday night? Yes, Saturday night, Sunday morning. Yeah, when do yours change, uh, Wayne? Uh, end of the month. It would make sense to do it at the end of the month. Yeah. Why in the world we do so silly things like, well, change to begin with, but like for us, it's always the second Sunday in November to go forward, and it's the second Sunday in March to go back. Yep. Ruby, I was just telling Wayne just before you came in, Kentucky's got a, a bill in our state Congress right now. We This may be our last time change or last uh, daylight savings time. Now, Paul, is, says, Paul says that if America keeps this clock nonsense up, it's only fair that England just takes them back over and stops their nonsense. <laughs> well, hang on. Maybe maybe they could do something about the elections too. Uh, the, the, Paul, the clock nonsense. We do it here. We just do it a little bit later than the states. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just made a a little parting line back here, so I don't go beyond it, and I'm go ahead and put a curve in the bottom. But I needed to move my tool rest so I could complete it. Rich Just says that Florida, Florida is trying to uh, eliminate daylight saving time. Yeah. And I think that's the smart thing to do. Get rid of it. <laughs> Been a number of studies, I understand, on how it affects people. Um, and here lately, they've been talking a lot about the natural circadian rhythm that we have and how changing the clocks back and forth really messes with some people. Paul says he lives in Northern Ireland and we're permanently on 19th century time. <laughs> well, I tell you what, being retired, I don't really care. <laughs> That's the true. Put the clocks forward, put them back. I can live with it. I, I just, yeah, for us, I just wish we'd pick one and do it. I don't care which one it is. But it looks like we're going to go to standard time year-round is what we're going to do. And that's okay. Mark says he likes this new feature where you can time someone out for 60 seconds. Yeah. And people are trying to figure out, oh, that's who he timed out was JP. <laughs> now, I've, I've actually looked at uh, both the things that uh, JP said and that Mark deleted, and I couldn't actually find anything wrong with either of them. But there we go. And Zed's in. Hey, Zed. Hey, Zed. All right. Starting to get somewhere now. And Todd, just a nice, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you I'm go ahead. Say, just nice, I'm just going to say a nice little vase shape. Very simple because uh, we're going to do some lacing. There's going to be some gaps in this wood, and we'll do some lacing to it here in a minute. I've got some bump in there. I think it's some rot that was there. Yep, all that bark, it's still, it's not rot, but bark. That's mm. rot. And a crack. So lots of character. Lots of character. Yeah, it's, it's got everything a, going for it. It's going to need a lot of sewing. 
Mm. <laughs> Mark just replied to me that there wasn't anything wrong with the messages. He was just power tripping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. Mark, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, mate, but you must have a death wish doing that to Jamie. Really? You didn't think about that properly. Yeah, it's it's been a little while. Jamie's not made a meme in a little while that's uh, really gotten on somebody. It could happen any time. I'm surprised he hadn't come up with one for me yet. That's <laughs> not that I need one. I'm just surprised. <laughs> Yeah, you should be worried. Uh, Norman Greenwell has said, during the last war, my uncle who had a farm had three clocks. GMT, BST, and double BST. <laughs> I used, before I moved here, which is very much in central, or uh, very much in Eastern time, I no. lived right on the border of Central and Eastern time. In the town we lived in, everything that was had a time listed, they would say fast time and slow time. <laughs> so I never did get used to all that. It was craziness. Right, hang on. There's a couple a quest, of comments. Question from Sneaks. He wants to know how long Doug has been a Turner, and has he outdone himself on a piece where he had to think, did he, did I really do that? <laughs> I've been turning. That was to me, right? Is that what you said? Yeah, how long? I've been turning for about 20 years now, a little over 20 years, actually. Um, and I tell you what, I, I was turning a bowl for a Christmas present one year in... It was a it was walnut and all my walnut was green and so i you know this is going to be fun it, walnut turns really it's fun to turn anyway but when it's green it's like any green wood it turns super easy it's still bumping and uh, so i turned this green wood bowl was turning it outboard for the very first time i'd never done that before and lo and behold as I was turning it, that booger was warping just about as quick as I could turn it. Hmm. I don't know how that just moved, but it did. Right. Chris, um, Walter, got... Chris Walters has joined us. Hi, Chris. Hey, hey Chris. We have got a, another couple of things, and there's only you can sort this one out if you want to, Doug. Uh, Andrew has said, I think Doug needs to give JP and I a spanner. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, t to tell you the truth, JP and Andrew do come in uh, like, the, like they did last week and um, yeah, yeah. help with the chat. So Absolutely. But yep. I can't do that. That's got to be done by you, Doug. Yep, yep. And uh, Marcus said, Wayne, our road trip to see that fella is sorted. Excellent, Mark. Thanks for doing that. All right, here again, just oh, I'm kind of flattening Zed's... out the top end of this before I start yeah. digging into it. Zed started on the jokes. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear about the new coin-operated toilets popping up? They call themselves the cost of doing business. <laughs> oh. oh, my. Heard one this morning for you, Zed. What's, um... got, what's got five yeah. toes and an ankle, but is not your foot? My foot. God. Fred Fred Gilliver has joined us. Welcome, Fred. Hi, you, Fred. And Rob has said to me, uh, for my life tomorrow, don't forget to show the depth gauge that I use. I'll I will certainly do that, Rob. Um, I did have a, a message from Susie, the Swiss wood turner, um, in the past week with a couple of photographs of some very nice uh, pieces from somebody on Instagram and asking me if I knew how to do that technique. Uh, so I am going to, that's uh, something I am going to be doing tomorrow night. So there will be colour involved tomorrow night. 
and uh, some dry air no not airbrushing some dry paint brushing okay okay that sounds any like texturing it. sorry ruby any texturing oh yes there will be texturing as well yes usually usually you do texturing when you do uh dry yes brushing. yes yeah yeah there will be texturing as well yeah I'm going to drill a little hole here to get us started down the center. Makes life a little easier. Of course, I go the wrong way with the chuck. There we oh, go. God, he's off again. Oh, dear. Yeah. I don't know if, if Doug will find this one funny. Two, two cannibals are eating a clown. One turns to the other and says, does this taste funny to you? Like you said. <laughs> like you said. Here's another reason why to, to line up the headstock and the tailstock. If I'm going to drill, if I want it anywhere close to center, I've got to line those heads up, the, the two ends up. Right, so Mike, Mike is asking... Mike is asking me, does it include any zipping? No, um, Mike, it'll not be um, anything for the hashtag, hashtag week tomorrow night. And um, Haley is asking, uh, Wayne, it wasn't Natural Selection Studios. To tell you the truth, um, Haley, I would have to go back and look at the message from Susie. I can't remember who it was. But I'll just do that now. Just knocking those fines out. And Mark says he's backstage if you'd like to let him in, Doug. Uh, in answer to Healy, uh, yes, it was um, Natural Selection Studio. Hi, everybody. Hello, Mark. Hi, Mark. Glad you're with us, Mark. London back, and I okay now, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Did you get uh, Did you get London straightened out? Uh, London got me wet. <laughs> that, that, was, um, that was a really excellent presentation. Uh, Stick us back in the background, Doug. I forget to do that every time. Okay. All right. Where's they wait, Jamie? Where have you gone? I'm back. All's forgiven. <laughs> I only put him in, oh, you, you, put him in time out because he didn't say hello. <laughs> oh, you, you've done it now, Mark. I know he hasn't even replied to the message I sent him. No, th this is this is going to be a no surrender thing. This is you are down and They'll, gone. Yeah, you'll have That's a meeting here for long. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, we love you. I've got that. You, I'm sorry, Mark, but you should know better than that. I just realised as well. He's got he's got managerial control on your channel, hasn't he? He has, yes. You're, uh, you're, you're in trouble now, Mark. He knows I love him, really. <laughs> All right, we're just about as far as we're going to go. I'm just going to the, yeah, the but, depth of that drill bit is all we're doing, which is far, plenty far enough. All right, plenty all right. far enough. How is everybody? All good. All good. <laughs> that drill bit is right at five inches, which puts us right about there. So we're that's perfect. It's cutting perfect. it a little close on the bottom. <sighs> Your chicken, Ruby. <laughs> You're right. Cluck, cluck. I've got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Some of you will notice I didn't really push that real hard, and that drill bit is still relatively cool. It's it's got some warmth to it, but it's not hot. So we're we're great. Well, you did say the wood was a little soft. Well, it was in one little area. Um, I had one spot that I thought was soft, and it was turned out it was just bark. Bark, bark, bark. Uh, and I'm not being 
I'm not saying Mark with a hair lip. Just bark. Okay. Let's see. Well, that's not what I want. Here we go. That's that's a Z joke, that is. Yeah. <laughs> Add a little speed back into it. We were down for the for drilling. I'll take it real easy, particularly here at first with this open stuff, just getting it started. Once I get past this uh, neck, I'll get my easy wood tools and start opening up this the body of this. You want to change the camera, camera to the end? Yep. Yeah. That's what I was just saying. And now, deal, yeah, the deal has said, drill the holes for your laces before you hollow it out, Doug. That's, yeah, that's actually a good idea. So it stops the breakout. Yeah, Steve had trouble with that, but I, I really think Steve had two issues going on there. One, he, um, the hole he was drilling was a little larger than he needed, um, and he pushed it a little, little quickly. And the the one that actually broke, he went in at an angle. As I was watching the video, he he didn't go straight in, and I think that's what caused it to actually break out. But yeah, while it's still got a little thickness to it, if I can determine where those laces are going to go, I can go ahead and drill those. Yeah. Trying to go slow right here because this is where the void is. I don't want to knock it out of the chuck, even though the chuck's good and tight. Is that wood still fairly wet, Doug? Or is it perfectly no, dry? No, no. It's I don't know that it's Well, when I'll I say perfectly and, dry. Yeah. When I stop here in just a second, I'll put a moisture meter on it. I don't think it I has any moisture know. left in it. What what variety of wood is it? Don't know. Bob wood. Bob. You know what that stands for, don't you, Mark? On ground. I thought it would have been Bradford Pear again. It, it's possible. I, I just don't know on this particular one. It was a branch. It could have been, it could be maple, it could be poplar, it could be pear. I've got so much of both of them. But see, I'm going to have a real nice, all of that is just under the bark. And it's very, it's flat all the way down to there. So I'm just barely going to go beyond that. Uh, as far as hollowing, yeah. and I don't think it's pear, Wayne. Um, okay. Um, oh, I know what that is. That is hackberry. Hackberry. Oh, oh hackberry is okay. nice to work with. Yeah, it's turning pretty nice. There it is. Uh, deal, deal is um, oh, sorry. The deal has come back and said, um, do you remember the bowl? He had break uh, when he hollowed it before trying to carve it. I don't remember right offhand. This is just a hair over 13%. So it's not bone dry, but it's not wet either. It's about equilibrium kind of moisture level for here around here. Oh, look, You've just reminded me that I've still mm -hmm. got two of those moisture meters to give away to somebody. You never gave those away? No, never got them. No. no. There's I think that. I have as well. Is that my shelf? If I remember, I'll do it on my next live. It was you two using them that uh, caused me to go out and buy that one. And it, it works real well. I like it. When I care. <laughs> I've got That's one and I just... Here. I've got one and I never use it. I just pick up the shavings and judge from that whether it's wet or dry or in between. Right. And you can really tell when you get beyond the uh, void. Well, what in? Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. And Harry Kizzy's in. 
Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Hey guys, glad to have you along with us today. All right, let's see what we can do here. Go ahead Andy, the Valley Woodburner has joined us too. Hi, Andy. Andy. Hi, Andy. Andy. All right. Get my handy dandy drill. I didn't need to go get a drill bit. I've got three sitting right here. Or two, I guess. We'll put this, take that out, put the drill bit in. Ah, uh, of course, didn't want to cooperate. All right. We're straight. All right. So if I put one, I want to mark these so it's somewhat straight when I get to it. Move that out of my way. Get just the reminding everybody to give Doug a thumbs up. Appreciate that. It's always a good thing. All right, I'm going to set that at three inches on the very top, and I'm going to come down to a half inch, and a half inch, and a half inch, and a half inch. If I come over here, I can do the same thing. There at the very top, and inch, half inch, half inch, and half inch. Then, oh, Douglas is in. How are you, Douglas? Hello, Doug. Unless, unless I missed him coming in earlier. Douglas, yeah, he's, he's a bungle thief. <coughs> Good night, Doug. Night, night, Douglas. Good night. Thanks for coming by. Okay, that gives me some well, guideline there. That's an that's, early good night. It's only a ruler. Hour. That's the ruler that I said I was missing since my son was home at Christmas, and I found it the other day when we were looking for the missing ring. Didn't find the ring, but I found my tape measure <laughs> or my my uh, root steel rule. Right, we've got uh, Spunby Green Jeans just come in. Well, hello. Glad to have you. Hi, Leo. And Zed said he hit the thumbs up three times to make it stick. <laughs> That's scary. Oh, God. EMGI has said 43 watching. What's wrong with Doug's viewers? Um, don't know. Don't know unless um, because of the the change in times, people were waiting for 8 o'clock. That could be too. Or they were waiting for 3 o'clock here. What size drill bit are you using, Doug? That size right there. I don't okay. know. I didn't look when I pulled it out of the box. It's Is it than what uh, I need Brad point? That. I'm sorry? Is it a Brad point? No, it's just a regular, just a regular drill bit. Nothing special. Uh, Harbor Freight special. I bought this box of drill bits from Harbor Freight years and years ago, and they're doing pretty good, except for the smallest sizes. They're, they seem to be disappearing for some reason. Actually, it's because they broke. The smallest sizes are the little wire gauge sizes, and I, I break them quite easily. Hmm. 
and it's just me. I, I just, I put too much, too much sideways pressure on them, and they just, they go. But they're tiny to begin with, so there's doesn't take much to break them. All what right, I've got to lace with. Oh. Little surprise. brass wire. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've done several with wire. Um, I just kind of like it for some reason. I may come back and depends on what this does here. Um, and I may even do depends on what this crack here does. So, but those are the that's the main one there. Just four across the top. All right. Let's see. Let's use oh, let's use let's use Jamie's favorite tool. Thanks, camera buddy. Raise that up just a touch. Gonna to use a gonna use the CI five, the number one hollow. I like the way that tool works. It really is fun. The way it, it just, that little bit just eats the wood out of there. Um, I was trying to explain to my dad. He was talking to me about it. And uh, he says, how does that little little cutter do such a good job? It's because it's small. You don't have nearly the friction. Um, it's, easier for, it's easier to take a small bite than it is a big bite. And it just does a great job. And so... Uh, I think he's finally decided he, he's going to give himself one. Yeah, I certainly like it. They certainly hog out the material, don't they? They certainly do. Now, the people are chatting about um, lakes and things like this. Um, I've got 28 up on my screen. I think the same as uh, Todd has. Yeah, 29. Dale says he wishes he had the budget to get one. Um, yeah, I understand. Watch for them to go on sale at the various outlets. Um, there's there's several that have sales going on the easy wood tools now ten some ten percent some fifteen percent off yeah so uh, that's one of those deals you just kind of watch and pick your poison what I like is that they've started marking on the uh, shaft where you can use it over overhanging the uh, tool rest I think they've all I think they've always done that Ruby <laughs> they've always done that. Mm -hmm. No, I've got uh, some old ones that didn't. Right. Here's, so here's my original no. square one, the original CI one, and it has no markings other than. Yeah, CI1. but that's it. that's not really classed as a hollower. Yeah. No, the hollowing tools once they came. Yeah, out, for the for the hollow for the hollowing tools, the 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 mark it on the bottom as to how far you can go in. Right. But um, I I was speaking to oh I can't remember I think it was Chris. Because uh, mm -hmm. I was going to get, uh, in fact, I have got the Pro Hollower, and that's got a marking on uh, for how far you can go in. He, he basically yeah. said, take no notice of that because people have taken it all the way down to the shaft, all the way down to the handle. Right. I've oh, taken yeah. my original CI1, or, yeah, the, the rougher with the rounded carbide cutter on it i've taken it to the handle um and as soon as i did somebody that saw i, I was showing them how i did it and they they said you went that far with it yeah yeah i did well i like that they've come out with the different lengths of handles and if you get the pro which is the longest handle it uh gives you a little more leverage yeah yep We're getting pretty close down here. All 
Man, this that, that little tool, it just it just eats. It eats and eats and eats. Shugs it. <laughs> yeah. What's this called? Yeah. Hey, Shug. Yeah, and uh, he's gone. <laughs> We said all the way down to the shaft. <laughs> Best Beavis and Butthead impersonation. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, here we All right. All right, we are. Where am I? I'm here in Kentucky. That's where I am. Where Nothing anybody could say make anybody feel better about your jokes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I've doing. got. I've got a flexible light right here somewhere. Where is it? I don't see it. Let's see if I can get this one to come on. If I can, that'll be great. Now this light's like your lathe, Wayne. It has a switch that has a mind of its own. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Do you have yep. a thickness gauge? I'm sorry? Do you have a thickness gauge? I do. I do. Oh, I, I can't. I, yeah, I'm wanting to see the very bottom, and I can't see it. That won't work. My depth gauge will work, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. There it is. Sounds oh. like the same leprechaun's been in your shop that's been in mine. Well, yeah. My wife got in here with me the other day to to help me try to find that ring that we never found and I kept saying you got to put things back got to put <coughs> things back so I know where they are is um, Sam is Rob from Klingspore still in Rob are you still in holy moly I've still got two inches of hollowing that I can do well you want this Rob to see that yeah, uh, <laughs> they did. Yeah, because Rob, Rob has done some 3D printed um, depth gauges, and I put on, I put a comment on the ones that he was shown, saying that the one that I use is a totally different design. Now, they basically yeah. use the, the same design as you. That is oh. so, Rob. You are in. That's the type of depth gauge I use. Did you see it well and enough, it, Rob? If you didn't, I'll, I'll, ex back I'll, I'll, exp I'll explain it fully tomorrow night but it will give an exact measurement for how much yes. you've got left tells you how far it is to the jaws yes now i said i had about two inches but i got a gap between the jaws and the bottom of this vase let me put it back on overhead and i can show you what i'm saying that depth gauge i had measures to here to the edge of these jaws but then i've got that space from there up to about there that I've got to take away from that. So I've only got about an inch to go till I'm at the very bottom of where I want to turn. Ah, so here we go. We're right there. We're pretty close. Whoop. Let's not do that. And I fuss about other people. I thought I checked that already. We're there now. No problems, Rob. I will certainly give it a go. I like the attachment that um, Rob put on the end for you. Yes, I've got to say I do like that, Mark. And it takes that one up a little, little further up the level. Now, what's, what's that you're saying? Uh, D Dealer said he's got the pro finisher, but he can't change the cutter because the screw head is damaged. 
Well, if you can get the screw out, you can get other screws. That's they they will take care of you with screws. Not yeah, a you, can, you can get other screws. You can get other Allen keys. Um, a lot of the time, what happens is dust gets into the into the screw head. Um, and if you've got dust in the screw head, it's very, very difficult to get a proper fit for the Allen key. So yep. if you can clean that out and give it another go deal. Um, <laughs> well, I started to say something and I better not. Um, cause I don't know. I've never asked before. Then come again. Change clear. You people are so demanding. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. How's that? And I'm just thinning down this, this neck a little bit. So as Dad has said that he sharpens his pencils by chucking them in my drill and then using the belt sander. Sugar said um who needs a pencil sharpener when you have a robert sorby pro edge the most expensive pencil sharpener he owns and ruby has come in with she uses the sc2 chuck with dome jaws to sharpen her pencils well what happened was i got some uh, pastel pencils that are very very soft and you can't use a regular sharpener or even a knife to get a decent uh, sharpen on them so I went downstairs and put them on the lathe and found that it worked really well um, deal if you've lost the Allen wrench uh, yes, uh, get it yeah get in touch with easy wood tools and um, I have actually found them very helpful um, and the, the, they actually sent me a couple of uh, different sizes if you check um there's the one that i use for my easy woods um that's a harbor freight special out of their one of their sets um they work tremendously well if you check the easy wood uh website they also have a video on uh how to get a screw out that's uh difficult to get out i've forgotten that they sure do He's using the finisher to clean up the inside wall here. Where the hollower has that little carbide bit, it leaves a little bit of a ridge or ridges along the side where you've been cutting. And the finisher with the larger head does a better job of cleaning up those ridges. So that, so that you can have a nice smooth finish right now i'm real smooth right to the bottom of the cut or of this a gap here i know i want to open that up just a little more so that my lacing is the bottom lace is is open there Well, I'm going to have to drop out because I'm getting phone call. I've got to take it up. I'll see if I can get back in. Yeah, no oh. bother. Okay. You might want to check your thickness on the opposite side to make sure you don't go through that side as well. Yeah, it's 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 getting thinner, but I can I still got room. This is pretty thin right here, where I want to get. I want to I want to go go to the other. Okay, my my bottom hole is here, and there's the bottom of the gap, um, which is just a touch higher than the bottom hole. So I want to bring this gap down another three eighths of an inch, and I've still got a little meat on the other side. You can always open that up with a Dremel too. Yeah.
Oh, you're there. You probably can't see the tool in there. I'm too, I got too much light on it. I can see the tool in there where it disappears. Just where it disappears is where I want to open it up just a little bit further. Actually, I'm also... seeing it on my screen. Okay, good. I can also feel it. It's, it's pushing the tool, the wood's pushing the tool back toward the center. So I know I've got a lump there. Right, Martin Ford has uh, said, sorry for being late on parade, but has someone lost their Alan Key for Easy Wood Holloway? I don't think it was for the, oh, it might have been for the Holloway. I'm not too sure now. Uh, but he's got more than one and would be happy to post one out. Uh, Jamie, and you can probably confirm this for me. I think with the new cutter heads, they, they're sending out a new Allen wrench automatically with them now I think I, I'm, I'm not positive about that right in this minute but I think that's the case and so okay, I've gotten, go ahead I was just gonna say I've gotten my opening that I wanted down deep enough it's still flat almost all the way to the bottom I want to clean that up just a little more before I go to sanding on it and my depth yeah, I've all gone all the way to the bottom, but I want to clean up the bottom just a little bit, and I'll, I'll use the finisher for that. Now, what were you starting to say, Ruby? Uh, Zed says that he has a premiere today, and if you want to see what happens when you don't tighten the Allen screw and you reverse turn. Oh. Indeed, GK hey, wow. is seeing how deep? Real deep. Real deep. Uh, Zed. That sounds to me like that's one premiere you want to wear your face shield. Yep. Watch. Zed, go ahead and and uh, add your your uh, your link if you want to. You can't you do that. Got you. Yeah. No, he, he can can't. Now. He can't do that. He's not a. He, oh, okay. He can now, and I don't see. Has Jamie been blocked again? Yeah. No. no J J right. When Jamie got put in timeout, he didn't come back in. Oh. <laughs> okay. It wasn't a ten-second timeout. Okay. Did I get that? I think I'm pretty close. Uh, just a little more. Got just a little bit of mess in the bottom. I'm trying to clean up. Zed has put his link in. Good deal. Good nice deal. one, Zed. And Precious, Lucy, you've been taken care of too. So. And Lucy says she'll be hiding under her cushion again for it. Yeah, <laughs> she, she also asked if, um, if it's going to be 10 p.m. UK time. Seeing as how the, the clocks have gone forward in the States. There we go. All right. What, did Mark step out for a minute or something? Yeah, yeah he, he had a telephone call to take. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, nobody was reminding me, and I thought, Mark, Mark's been doing that pretty good. <laughs> All right, little vibration because I'm getting a little, I got a lot of overhang, plus I'm pushing it kind of hard. So trying to feel the center so that I clean it up. Yeah, Zed has said it's, it's two hours from now, whatever time that is. Yeah, that'll be 10 o'clock UK time. All right. And we are, the bottom is clean. That's great. Well, let's see. I'm not done with that. I want it over here. Make sure we're good there. I can't Back put I can't put the link in for my live tomorrow night because I haven't set it up yet. <laughs> Come on, Wayne. <laughs> now you're only stitching it on one side. Yes, ma'am. 
Okay. Yeah, the other side ended up not opening, so we're okay. If it had opened up in trying to get this side done, I would have worried about it, but I'm not because it didn't open up. All I'm doing is cleaning up a little bit. It's very light. Got to get my handle down so I don't catch. Lucy's asking if uh, anyone knows if Alex Wurzel is okay. He, um, she hasn't seen him in a chat for ages. And I think he's got... Um, he, he, he does a lot of um, personal care and stuff for uh, immediate family. So I think he's been involved in doing that, Lucy, to tell you the truth. He has been commenting on videos I've put out. And uh, yeah, I think he's fine. He's just busy with family, taking care of them. Well, thought I got my, thought I got my cleans pour sandpaper out, but I didn't. You mean you hide it away? It's in a box just right here beside me, basically. Not hidden away, but it's, it's in a box so I can close the lid and it keeps the dust out. Yeah. Just kind he of hides it, He hides it away just in case uh, McDew turns up Good, good thinking on his part. And Mick did show up in the chat today. Okay, hey Mick. All right, got it running. Got it slowed down to five hundred RPMs. I'm going to get one of my my sanding pads for my drill. I'm just going to hold it in my hand. I'm not. I'm going to bring up my. Dust extraction and turn it on. Zed says that even Kentucky is too close for some of the sticky fingers in this chat room. <laughs> well, I think Alex has been showing up on wor worldwide wood turners, hasn't he? Yes. He, yes. Yes. Tell you what, while I'm doing a little sanding here, Wayne, if you want to uh, tell everybody about Woodwide Wool Turners, that'd be great. Yeah, uh, Worldwide Wool Turners, uh, excellent group to be in. Um, totally free website, uh, totally free events, and um, all of the demos that happen uh, within the group, um, it's members that, that do the... Um, they do the demos, uh, so they are not paid for. Everybody volunteers their time to do them. There's usually a pretty good chat and a show and tell before the, the demo happens. Um, and after go, the demo? Yeah, go to worldwidewoodturners.org. You will be able to find out when the events are going on there. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a Zoom meeting that happens on Wednesday night. It's midnight UK time. I always forget the time differences going over to the US. I apologize for that. It is very, very well attended and there's good chats going on all the time. The yeah, it's usually seven o'clock um, North American time. Well, seven o'clock Eastern, Eastern Standard, uh, six o'clock Central. Well, I about did Wayne's trick. I started to turn the lathe on and I've got to dremel out. That would not have worked. Um, of course, this week you'll have that extra, well, that strange hour difference. So it's who knows what it'll be for you guys in England or, or in Great Britain, I'll say. Well, if it's seven o'clock our time, four, four hours would be 11 o'clock their time. Yeah. Yeah. So you got an next, you, get, you gain an hour for this week and, and next, I guess. Getting this nice and smooth. That's an area where the sandpaper is never going to hit it while it's rotating. Is that a Dremel you're using? It is. There we go. Y'all talking about the those nice numbers? What is it, 8240? 8240, yeah, that's the new one. This is a number 275. Yeah, that, that's a corded one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, the... Um... 
the 8220, the 8240, and the 8260 are all cordless. They use a, a 12 volt lithium ion battery, and they are um, exceptionally good, I've got to say. Yeah. Hmm. This one, I've been surprised. Um, I'm not even sure where that came from, but it's been a good one. It's kind of like you talking about the drills, the, the corded drills that are stronger, faster. I kind of yep. feel the same way with the Dremel. Uh, the corded ones are, they, they, it's an excellent tool. All right. The, uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've got a, a, an old 300 series uh, corded okay. Dremel. And to tell you the truth, that is nowhere near as powerful as the um, the, the new cord, uh, cordless ones. Oh, really? But, yeah, That's definitely. And Todd says Raymond, the has just come in. <clears throat> hey Raymond. What did you start and to say, Ruby? Todd says that Amazon just delivered his twelve inch tweezers and twelve inch forceps that he ordered <laughs> yesterday afternoon. And now he wow. can lace up his his vase. Okay. Um and Carsten Peterson just come in. Good evening, Carsten. Hi, Karsten. <laughs> I've had those in, in my stockpile for a long time now. And they do come in handy. When, they're, when I need them, they, I need them. Um, nothing else. Yeah, they, they, they actually come in very handy for sanding really the, in, the, the inside of this type of thing. Yep. Yes, yes, they do. That's something I, I've heard and seen a lot of people do, and I've never done it myself. I may very well on this one. Speaking of which, we're right at the hour now, aren't we? This yeah, we we're one. about five past. Yeah, I'll go just I've a few got, more I've minutes got here. Seven past. Yeah, four oh seven, which is four seven, four oh five. You know. You know. Yeah, Deal <laughs> says uh, when when he does this type of thing, he uses these needle nose pliers to lace them. Yeah. Yeah, the needle of those pliers, uh, if you need to, uh, uh, I'm hoping, well, uh, I'm hoping well, the forceps will be enough, not need the pliers. Pete, the says pliers that, right, right here. Pete says that another way is to use a small child to lace it up. It has to be a reason for having them. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Now, wait a minute, Pete. You were going to have me put my hands in and do the lacing for you. But you're in Canada. He's not. And he's got... Yeah, it is a bit of a right long there. reach. He's got, he's got munchkins handy. I am switching directions every time I change grits, just... Because the fibers get laid down every time, so just just helps speed the process in the long run. It's looking good. Because I'm using wire to lace instead of string or yarn, I will go ahead and lace it before I finish it. Um, What does that say this time? No, it's Pete. He says that I'm the same size as a small child, but much less trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's only because I cleaned your shop and rearranged it while I was there. <laughs> oh me. Trying to have a light touch up here at the top where I've got that big void. Actually, two voids, but one's big and one's a little smaller. Then I can put a little more pressure down at the bottom where I got a little more solid wood. It's not completely solid, but it's better than up here at the top. And keep my fingers out of it. And That's a good idea. Highly yeah, recommended. Kind of like my fingers where they are. Back to reverse. Mm -hmm. 
Um, is Rich still with us? I, if Rich is still with us, I I got a question that maybe he can answer that has bothered me since I first got this laid. I don't know if he still is. I'm sure he will, he'll answer if he's still here. Yeah. Well, oh, Lawrence. Hiya, question? Lawrence. Didn't notice you Lawrence? coming in. Oh, Rich is still here, and he has said, ask away. Okay, Rich. When I first got this laid, of course, the 1620 is a belt change laid. When I first got it, my, my forward and reverse, reverse had it coming toward me, and, re, and forward had it going away from me. Is there is was that a, a a mistake on somebody's part or was that the way they all were? No, no. all you do is t turn the switch upside down. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's two separate buttons. <laughs> yes, I, yeah, I, I know, I know, yeah, I know, I know, I know. You're just getting the mick in me there. That's, that's all right. It it right. sounds that's to cool. me like somebody just crossed the wires. I, I wondered if yeah. that was the case. Yeah. Maybe it was done on Friday and. And Rich says it was a mix-up on the wiring from the factory. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious about that. That was always a question that I had, and nobody seemed to be able to answer me. In fact, Rich, didn't I email you one time? I think I did. When you all had a, a job opening, and I was hoping it was going to be a remote job. Even though I'd love to move to Florida, I, I can't do it. <laughs> Not at this point in time. You, we're going to go. We're going to go to South Georgia to vac have some vacation in a couple of months. Oh, nice! And we weren't there. We went to the same place last year, and I'm telling you, I've never heard my wife be so excited about a location as she was about that location. <sighs> this time we just do it in. <laughs> she she may decide this is this is where she wants to be permanently. And what made it um, exciting? Well um, island life um, raise that face shield while I'm doing this. Um, it's it's a slow a slower pace there um and where we were at the uh everything was just where we it was there where we needed what we needed was right there um it wasn't overly commercialized but there was enough there that we could you know we didn't have any trouble eating if we wanted to do a little shopping the shops were right there um, is that what I, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on, Doug. So basically it was just somewhere where you can go and just take some time out. It was, and, and that lifestyle would, would be very conducive to who we are at this part in our, or at this point in our lives. Yeah. Um, I think we both just like a slower lifestyle right now than what we have. And, yeah. But and tell you the would, truth, I'd, I'd just prefer not to live in an island. <laughs> Yeah, well, I understand what you're saying, too. I lived, when I was a kid, I, I lived the next island <clears throat> south of, of where we're going. And we, All right, it was okay. just a great place to live. It was a phenomenal place to live. Um, these are not big islands, Wayne, like, like where you are. Uh, these are small islands. No, I was uh, talking about my house. Yes, you're yes. <laughs> understand yes. Understand that too. Uh, your island your house becomes an island, doesn't it? Goodness gracious. Um well, but anyway. Todd points out island life is fine until a hurricane comes to visit. This is true. This is true. Um these islands are are uh, very historic. South South Georgia. Um, lots of history in that area. Is that what I wanted to do? Oh, I went the wrong way with that one. That's why. 
Yeah, now Deal has said he'd love to move to the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee or North Carolina. Yeah, I lived there for a while. And Nine Rich years I was won- in the Norton Mountains yeah, of North Carolina. Yeah, Rich has said he wants some land in New Hampshire. Uh-huh. I think that's New Hampshire, NH. NH, that would be New Hampshire, yes. Yep. Uh, Mike is asking, is that picture hanging wire, Doug? No, no, this is just decorative brass wire. Uh, comes in a spool in the hobby shops. Um, it's a pretty good size spool that it comes on. Um, you know, there's, I don't know how much is there. I, the labels are all gone. Uh, and that's my original batch. There, yeah, it's a bunch of it there. I've got another spool here that's more like thread, but it is wire. Okay, these will have to get straightened up a bit. That's the only issue with wire. They they get a little bent, a little crooked. You just have to play with it to get it straight. And then yeah, so to... Richard said uh, and to me asking if it's New Hampshire. Yeah, New Hampshire. He grew up in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, wow. Wife misses her family, but he won't go back to that state. So they've agreed on New Hampshire. New Hampshire is a pretty country. You you have to like the cold and the snow. So winters are cold with a lot of snow. Oh, the skiing's pretty good. Absolutely, yeah. If you want to, if you're a skier, that's that's a good place to be. I would have enjoyed the skiing bit when I was younger. I, the whole idea of breaking a hip at this point in my life, I'm not too keen on. Uh, Lucy has said uh, that she can't think which state MA is either. That's Massachusetts. The thing is, Lucy, the way that the the US do their states, it tends to be the the first two letters of that state. Typically. Tells you which state it is. And we do have several that start with M. So like Massachusetts, Maine, Mississippi, those three particularly, they're easy to get confused because and Michigan. Of their letters. And Michigan, yes. Michi- I, I was yeah, thinking Michigan. of another one. Yeah, Michigan is M I. Massachusetts is M A. I nope, 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 nope. I'm locked. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Now. Now. For a little little fun just to give us an idea leo's got to go he's got to walk the dogs uh deal has said that uh, his grandparents live side out of murphy uh, north carolina if it was oh. in his budget he would move there not too cold not too hot pretty part of the state love it uh, martin ford is asking you doug you're in kentucky anywhere near covington he yeah. used to spend a lot of time in Covington and Cincinnati when he was working, and he Sorry. misses his trip there. <laughs> Covington is, uh, yes, Covington is about, well, Cincinnati is 35, 40 minutes north of me. Covington is just my side of the river before you get to Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, Covington's become a little on the rough side, um, so... I don't go up that way very often. So there you go. That that little bit of sanding sealer really brought the color out in that area. It sure did. But I've got a little bit oh, more yes. work to do. I'm going to finish that wiring. I'm, I want to do a little sanding inside. Um, but that gives you an idea. You can see what it looks like, and we'll get the pictures up on social media here Just be shortly. Careful. Just be careful of the wire when you're sanding inside. Yeah, the wire will come out before I sand. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to stick it in so we have an idea. Um, it, it's still laced up, you know, like a like a shoestring. Put my hand behind it, maybe you can see it better. Well, the crisscrosses. You... Um, and uh, what I'll probably do is actually, where I've got it doubled up here, I'll probably double all the way down, except for this very bottom one. And I'll have to end it inside somehow. That's the hard part, it's ending it. But anyway, there you go. There you go. Excellent, Doug. Very, very nice. 
any other questions or, hey. or did we get them all? I think we Martin. got most of them. Yeah, and Martin has said Covington was a little rough when he used to go there. Yeah. Uh, but they, they were a couple of good bars. Covington does have some nice things in it. Um, so does Newport, which is kind of their neighboring town. It's They're right there together. What am I looking Oh, there's what I'm looking for. Um, so, yeah, they're, yeah, they're I, mean, all... I can't. It, yeah, it's a little rough in that area, but it's not It's not like you can't go there. It's, yeah. Um, yeah you just there are some nice comments coming through, Doug. Well, thank you, folks. Thank you. Bye. Take that, and I, I might be able to not. Uh, yes, I can get that. Um, now, Andrew asked um, Haley how her new bandsaw is, and she has said, "Shh, it's not arrived yet." And uh -oh. she's hoping uh, she can sneak it into the workshop without being seen. <laughs> <laughs> Haley, that sounds like a man thing. Yeah, and it only costs twelve ninety nine. Just see. Yeah, it. there you go. Just twelve ninety nine. Just twelve ninety nine. Reverse. We're already there. There we go. I knew I could get that off. Very good. All right. Well, there it is. That's hashtag week. Something broken, laced up. <laughs> Still has a little work to go on it. Um, really nice, yeah, Doug. It'll hold water, but not very much. <laughs> Only. <laughs> Just a little bit, about a shot. Now, and a half. Fun, the fun, the funnily enough, you should mention that, Doug. Just a little aside here. Um, I think it was 2015 uh, when I got flooded. Uh, again, not the first time, but uh, I had a um, the first turn of a very, very big bowl, and which actually got washed out of the out of the workshop, oh, and is now God. and is now sitting behind the workshop. And that thing has been that thing has been filled with water, and it is still watertight. Oh goodness! Okay. Wow. Right. This, yeah. This this is how good wood actually holds water once it gets wet and expands. Yes. Yes. You know, it's like those wood hot tubs. Once you fill them up, if you keep them full, they don't leak. If yeah. You let exactly. Them dry, they'll start leaking on you again yeah. until you fill them and let them sit for a little while. Yeah, now, and that that that's why people use. Um, half barrels in their mm. gardens is yes. the sort of water features, right? Right, right. and all and also why yeah. they use them for whiskey and wine. <laughs> I've got a couple of barrel staves, but uh, they're going to end up being pin blanks, is what they're going well, to they uh, pin add some stands. flavor as well, Wayne. Sorry, Ruby, missed that. What did um, you say, Ruby? The, the you wood said. barrels for whiskey and wine also add a bit of flavor. Oh, yes, of course they do, because they tend to burn the inside the whiskey before barrel. They put the, the spirits in. Right, and they'll absorb a little bit as well. Yes. I've, uh, my dad was asked to uh, make a, a uh, kitchen vanity out of one with a drawer and a cabinet door. A cabinet, putting a shelf in it and a cabinet door was not a problem. But getting a, a, a drawer in it, we, we decided we weren't going to do that. It was too much work. But that thing, <laughs> it was, fortunately, it was a wine barrel and it was more than we could, you know, we had to work on it for a few minutes and then leave the shop for a few minutes. A little much. But anyway, it's all fun. It's a lot of fun. But folks, thanks for coming in. It's been a blast. Um, we've gone a little longer than we do a lot of times, but, and I've still got a little work to do, but not much. The inside, it won't take. As much time as I spent on the outside sanding it, the inside will take about that or maybe a little less. There's not a lot of sanding there. That uh, Easy Wood finisher did a good job of smoothing that out. So it looks like it's going to be an easy sand. I am going to take these these uh, wire laces back out, sand it, then we'll relace it, do it nicely. And so uh, it'll all work out just fine. Uh, Ruby, anything going on with you? Anything special? Uh, not this week. Okay. All right. You check did say you got some shows. You got some, uh, I see. Check your calendar just in case. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I better because it, I 
turned out I've got a few demos I didn't know I had. They, they <laughs> forgot that's to where check I was going. Me before they advertised them. Yeah, yeah. Ruby found out she had demos by the newsletter of the the uh, club. <laughs> uh, Wayne, you got anything special? I know you got uh, you doing tomorrow night, right? Yeah, I'm doing tomorrow night. I'll be doing okay. some texturing, probably using the Dremel. Um, I'll be doing some painting, um, some uh, dry. Uh, dry brushing uh, on the pin because uh, Susie asked me about that. Susie, Good. the Swiss will turner that is. And um, yeah. I'll be showing Rob the, um, or explaining how the, the depth gauge that I use works. Absolutely. That's, that's a, that works a treat. It gives you much more accurate um, idea of what you're doing than, than the, the, the other's handy. And it does a good job of getting you close. This other one, is, is a bit more accurate. And Pete's version of it is phenomenal with the, the sliding thing for the different chucks. Yeah. Um, it's That's a brilliant idea. Hmm. I have to go back and watch that video again and, and see about coming up with one. So with that, we're going to say bye. Um, as far as I know, I'll be here next week. I do have a week coming up before too much longer, well, down in June, uh, that I won't be able to be here. Uh, maybe Mark will want to jump in. I don't know. Or Wayne or Ruby or <laughs> somebody. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, um, there's my hashtag week piece. I'll be finishing that up, getting the picture off to Steve uh, before Friday, hopefully. And so it can be included in, in the montage. Until then, I hope everybody's able to spin them around. Bye-bye. Catch you later. Bye.